Hi, welcome to the third part of the Spur Gear housing in Siemens NX. Let's hide those solids. I will need two reference points. So let's go for curve, go for point, and let's go for third point. That's a bit okay. And I want to use coordinates. So the x value would be zero. The y value would be 135 minus 77.5. That should be 57.5. So let's go for minus 57.5. And the set value would be 85. And apply. And the second point is 100 millimeter away from this point in that direction. So let's go for an offset. That's very useful. Go for rectangular. No, not rectangular. Go for along a vector. Along this vector. And the distance along that vector should be 100. Which gives me the second point over there. Now I need two sketches on the right plane, I suppose. So let's go for a sketch on the right plane yes confirm bring in that point because that filter here is on confirm and let's put the circle right on that included point and the diameter should be 112 like that finish that sketch i want to make an extrude a new body or solid and this should go from or up to selected plane until selected. And that would be the 62.5 plane up here. This one here. And in the other direction, it should go also until selected. So this one here. And that would be the minus 62.5 plane, like that. And confirm, it's, it's a new solid. Nice. Let's hide that solid. And maybe hide that sp sketch here. Go for another sketch on the same plane. Bring in the second point. Go for include. Select it. OK. Put a circle right there. And again, it's 112. And finish that sketch as well. Go for another extrude until selected, until selected. So this should go until selected. Again, the same planes. So that would be the 62.5. And in the other direction, it should go until selected to the minus 62.5. Again, it's a new solid and confirm. Hide that sketch here. So I've got those two here. Next, I will need a rectangular shape on the same plane. So let's hide those two solids and go for another sketch on the right plane. Confirm. And that rect rectangle should be 205 by 90. like that here. So let's move this a little bit up, a little bit over there. And it should be centered around the midpoint between those two points. So I could do it like that. Let's include those two points. This one and that one. Let's draw a construction line. Make it for construction only like this and then align the midpoints here. So let's go for that midpoint, align it with that line or that midpoint at uh, that point here. That would be horizontal. Then select here the midpoint to that midpoint and that should be vertical aligned, which centers this nicely around here. Finish that sketch. So I think I didn't do those two planes 
there should be two more planes or I could go with until selected with offset that should work and I have those 62.5 planes and I need an offset of 2.5 minus or plus I will see which one is which so let's go for an extrude with that sketch go in this direction uh, offset from selected and that would be the 62.5 plane this one here and so what what's the offset here so this is plus 62.5 that's more so let's go for it should be minus 2.5 which stops before that selected plane yes looks good and in the other direction it should be again offset from selected and the selected plane would be this one and this might be plus 2.5 yes this looks okay so let's confirm this again it's a new body let's bring back all those solids just to check if this looks okay yes because this should be a little bit more than that extrude it should be 2.5 millimeter more and that's okay let's hide those solids and maybe hide that sketch here as well now the next sketch should be on the top plane so go for another sketch and on the top plane orientation is okay i will need a rectangle and in this case it's 50 by 100 yes so that should be like this and that would be 50 by 100 click okay and it should be of course centered around that origin so let's select here the midpoint the origin vertical select here the midpoint the origin and horizontal nice finish that sketch and let's make an extrude up to the topmost plane that would be this one so this should be zero and the end value should be until selected that one here and confirm great hide the sketch hide the extrude i will need another l shape and this should go like this in that direction the l so i want to make another sketch on the front plane in this case confirm and the shape should look something like this sort of an L shape like that here okay now this distance here should be 70 uh, let's downscale it that's okay move this a little bit out side that one this distance here should be 15 that distance should be 30 and this distance here should be 40 let's try to select it okay this should be 40 let's move this a little bit outside that shape and i want to align it with that plane here so let's include that plane okay and this one and that projection should be collinear by the way sorry my voice is still not back not really and yeah let's align the midpoint here 
with that sketch origin vertical. This looks good. So finish that sketch. And this extrude should be again until selected with offset. So let's go for an extrude. And obviously that's this direction in this case. So let's go for an offset from selected. I want to select this here. And, and that should be a positive value. So let's go for 2.5. Okay, and in the other direction, direction as well, so go offset from selected, this one, and this should be, I suppose if that's a positive value, this should be a negative value, so that would be minus 2.5, let's see if that's okay, yeah, it's beyond that plane, and it's beyond that plane, that looks okay, so let's confirm now I want to use a blend, a face blend, this one here, and a three face blend, yes, go not for body faces, but for single faces, so that would be the first face, select the opposite one, and then the middle face, up there, and confirm, yeah, this looks really nice, let's hide the sketch, I could move those two points up to the references here. So let's move it up a little bit, the second one a little bit, and then up to the references, maybe like this here. No, even one position more. It should be inside the feature group. So let's move it or yeah, move it maybe on top, that would be okay as well. And this one here at the top as well. That's okay. Now let's bring back all those solids. And it looks like this. Yeah, looks okay. So I hope this was helpful, hope you liked it. If you did like it, please give it a like or leave a comment. If you want to see more, please give it a like or leave a comment. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel, that would really help. You could follow me also on GrabGet, LinkedIn, Instagram, X, Facebook and many more. Thanks for watching, see you to the next one, bye bye.